Hello, guys. I'm Julie. Welcome back to Little Cloud Studio. Hope you are doing well. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make this classic satin medium dress. And if you ask me which item you must be have, I think it's this one because these skirts can match every outfit and they look very elegant and the french style also casual form everything can match and uh, i find uh, in the website every brand have this one so to be honest i want to every color so i decide to make it so it's really really simple easy pattern and the uh, easy step can finish it and i use this certain fabric just the uh, cost me under 10 pounds exactly it didn't a wrong number under 10 pounds and but if you have enough budget you also can extend the silk the silk fabric is look more gorgeous so it's depend on you so please step by step follow me you can get this one and uh, very easily and also in this video i will show you how to wear in this skirt to make outfits going to the work going to the meeting or date so let's jump in into the video Can you measure your body? Here go a few more lines you need to measure before you make pattern. The first is the waistline and the second is median hip line and the hip line. Also you need to know how length of the skirt you want. So first of all, how can you measure your waistline? Just measure around here. Then you will get your waistline and the median hip line actually is here to the hip line the half. So just measure here. And the hip line is the hip line. And uh, how length you want, you can make the short one or you, you also can make the longer one. So put the measure here, then do how long you want. So, for example, for your body, for your body here is your waistline, and here 
is your heat ply. And between, almost here, is your median hip line. So for the lens, you can start here to like short is here, longer is here. So just uh, push like this. Then you will know how longer you want. Please make the curve to smooth the line. Here also, please make the curve to smooth the line. Now you got this basic pattern. Then copy this for in front pattern and the back pattern. It's same pattern. Now you have few more place need to correct the line. First is the waist line. So put your pattern together like this. So you can make cup more smooth. So kind of like this. and edge line kind of like this now you got your final pattern so for example someone's got not like this smooth like the back and the front Scott, kind of like this. So you just need to choose the point, then connect this line. Then it will be smooth the line. And then now we need to put the semi-lapse on. So each line will be one centimeter. So center, center front line, it will be folding line. So here we don't need to semi-lapse. Here, don't forget the notchy then you can more easy to sort this cut. Now you go to your own the semi -louse. The center back, one centimeter. Also here have the zip, 20 centimeter zip. And the front is kind of like this. So this line will be fold. Now you get your front and the back pattern. 
So for the worst, measure this line. My this line is centimeter, so it will be that's four times four. And put similar sum. Fabric cutting part is a little bit different than the normal one, so you need to 45 degrees to cut the fabric. So you have few ways you can do. First of all, you can fold the fabric half kind of like this, and then put your pattern here. Then you can cut it. Also, if your fabric is really wide, you are harder to fold it, you also can find the corner, then make. Nineteen degrees. Angle, then This is 45 degrees, so you can put your like this, then to cut it. And don't forget, this piece will be two pieces. And for the bell, just like normal, like this way or this way, both okay. Now the center back look like this.
Here you can use the sewing machine to sew it. Also, if you don't want to see the stitch on the face, then you can use the blend stitch here.
Have you got this very cute skirt? Wish you have. Now I'm going to make every color I want. And really thank you guys for watching my video. And if you have any different idea or sewing skill for this skirt, you're really welcome to leave the comment to share everyone else so we can always learn something new together. And if you're new here, you are interested about sewing projects, please subscribe to my channel. And it's really important to me, can help me make more and more in the future and don't forget to turn on the notification bell on then you will notify when I upload a new video and really thank you guys for watching my video and hope you all get most rest of your day hope see you next time bye